Talkies. Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing about prions. Now many of you have requested me to make a video on prions and here I am with the video. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and always leaving beautiful comments for me to read. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. <music> So firstly, what are prions? So basically the word prions comes from the misfolded proteins. Okay. So misfolded protein is called as a prion. And this protein is basically an infectious agent. Now why do we call it infectious agent? Now let us try and understand what goes on behind this prion. So now we have a normal protein in our brain called as the PRPC. Okay, so PRPC. Now this C stands for cellular, which is the normal form of this protein. Now when there is a certain pathological event, we don't know exactly what this event is, but there is a shift from the normal PRPC protein to this PRP P protein. Now, what does this mean? This basically either is written as PRPP or it is written as PRPSC. Okay, coming from the word SCARP, which is basically the first significance or the first etiology of this disease. So it was seen in sheep that they were started to behave very differently very oddly and from that they were able to isolate this CARP protein which we denote as PRPSC or PRPP and this is the abnormal form of the protein abnormal. Now if you look at the normal uh, structure the 3D arrangement it has a lot of alpha helical coils okay so it has a lot of alpha helix and is a very coiled structure but when this normal PRPC is misfolded during this disease, you see that the alpha helical structures now have become converted to beta pleated sheets. Can you see now the number of alpha sheets, alpha coils have reduced and the beta sheets have increased. Now because of this accumulation of beta sheets, there is formation of an am amyloid fibrous structure inside your brain that basically at the end makes your brain like a sponge. So therefore it's called as a spongy form encephalitis. Okay. So spongy form encephalitis. Basically it makes your brain like a sponge and then ultimately leads to death. Now this is an infectious disease meaning that this PRPC has an PRPSC has an ability of misfolding the normal protein also. So suppose you have a normal protein the, and it comes in contact with the infectious or the diseased one, this will lead to the misfolding. And the misfolding not only changes the entire structure of the protein, but it also makes it protease resistant. So even if the protein is misfolded, it is not targeted for degradation as it is resistant to the protease. Now prion diseases are only found in animals and human beings. There is no known prion disease for plants. Okay. Now this term prion was basically coined by Stanley Prusner. He also got a Nobel Prize. If you want to know for what exactly he got the Nobel Prize, you can check the video where I have added a list of all the Nobel Prizes and the Nobel Laureate. Definitely do check it out. Now, what are the different prion diseases and what organisms do they influence? So basically the prion diseases, first one we have the CJ disease, that is the Kruspel jacob disease, which is affecting humans. Next, you have Kuru. Kuru is also affecting human. Basically, all these diseases cause effect to the human brain. Okay, And ultimately, it leads to the death. And this 
prion also makes the human cannibal so basically it was thought that initially the disease spread because in among the tribe that were infected with this prion diseases they used to eat the uh, bodies of the dead or the wives actually were made to eat their husband's body so that way they thought that the protein the misfolded protein passed on from the dead person to the person who consumed it so there is a lot of stories about prions you can read more about it as well then next you have the bovine spongiform encephalitis which is found in cows and it is called as the mad cow disease Okay, mad cow disease. There was an outbreak on mad cow disease, and many cows were basically buried alive, and the total consumption was stopped for a long period of time. Then you have the scarpi, as I was telling you, the P R P S C gets its name from this, which was basically first observed in the sheep. Then you have the chronic wasting disease that is observed in mule deer. So along with humans, many organisms basically. can get this prion infection so hopefully this information was useful to you if you like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video bye